Diana Demark here, ra ra ra. Good morning from hot and humid, at least for us, Copenhagen. But I've been down for, for my morning uh, skinny dip sea swim. Anyway, it's all good. Do not adjust your sets. My dining room doesn't normally look like this. I'm preparing for our next clothes swap party. Now I say clothes swap, I should really say swap party because as you can see, we swap way more than clothes. And I want you to have a think today about what is your motivation for decluttering? Because I can stand here and say to you, use a timer, you know, do it the fly lady way, do it for 15 minutes, have some good music going on. But what is it that really motivates you to declutter? Now, of course, decluttering is an, an ongoing process where we're never finished with decluttering. Taste change. Maybe you're an empty nester, maybe the kids are moving to their own flats, maybe they're getting married, maybe they're going to college, maybe you've retired and are wearing a different wardrobe than you did in the corporate world and now you are going to be spending your time at home or in the garden. Children are growing up, they grow out of their toys, they have new interests. So decluttering is an ongoing process. What is it that motivates you to declutter? Perhaps the family have announced that they're coming to visit and you think, oh, okay, now it's time to tackle the guest bedroom. Maybe your church is looking for food donations. Maybe you have a local charity that will do uh, come and do a collection, uh, you know, a curbside collection once a month. What is it that motivates you, that really puts the fire underneath you and gets you moving with your decluttering? You could be watching my YouTube videos, one of the things that really helps to motivate me to declutter is our swap parties. It really gives me that kind of fresh look on our house of thinking, okay, what are we using? Are we still using things? Do we still need them? Of course, there's lots of different changes in our lives. And it just gives me that little push to let things go because at our swap parties, I get to see the joy for other people of finding something that they can use, uh, will love, that they need it. And also anything, because I get this question all the time, we don't, we're not all the same size, I'll show you in a minute, uh, and this is just a few bags from the first couple of ladies that have uh, come along with their things. We're all different sizes, shapes, nationalities, body shapes, we've all got different family circumstances. And anything that's not taken from the swap we um, we go through things at the end. Everybody helps. You're going to have clear rules in this. And then we give it to a women's shelter or a men's shelter. It goes to a charity shop. Uh, it will go to recycling. Uh, it will go to refugee start, start help. So none of it goes to waste. And here in Denver, we, we just love to get the maximum use out of things. Instead of always you know, buying new Perhaps we can just pass it on to somebody else uh, who, who can, so we're really maximizing the use of all these objects. And many of the things here, they have been at a clothes swap, they've come back from a clothes swap. This is a top that Sue and I have both worn, that one's come back again. I use the Dressing Your Truth system for my clothes. So I love clothes swaps because I can try something that comes to the clothes swap and, you know, you may think, I'm not quite sure about this dress. It may be something that you've seen in the shops. You can, you can try it. You may wear it a couple of times. And if it isn't you, it comes back to the swap. So it's a great way to try new things. And as you can see from the shoes, which have already turned up, they are all different shapes and styles and sizes. Some of them are brand new, never been out the box. Some of them are party shoes. I know I've seen these ones coming backwards and forwards. So you really don't all have to be the same age or size uh, or style. One of the really popular things for us is books. And the books, again, they go backwards and forwards. Uh, cookbooks, so there's always a lot of cookbooks on offer. Uh, how, to, how to do things. Uh, self-help books, let me see, go that way, and then also obviously novels. And it's great because, you know, you can read something, maybe read it over the summer, and then back to the swap it comes, or maybe you'll find 
some kind of classic that, that you want to take home and, and keep it in your collection. I've just been unpacking a couple of the bags here. That This is just from a couple of the ladies. And I think for our party, we're going to be something like 18 ladies. So, so that, that there's going to be a lot of swapping going on. We, we use these reusable shopping bags a lot here in Denmark. Uh, and I think this one, this one belongs to Sue, my friend Sue. She loves anything to do with Mickey. I'm not quite sure who this belongs to because it's Trader Joe's, which I believe is American, maybe also Canadian. So that must have belonged to one of the, the American ladies. And there's always some kind of funny object. Here's one for today. Can you see what it says? It says, you, you can touch the dust, but please don't write in it. Hopefully that is not something I need to have in my house, thanks to using the Fly Lady system, but you never know. So have a little think, what is it that motivates you to actually go ahead and declutter? Uh, I, maybe you're a bit like me, I, I love decluttering a drawer and then I keep going back into it and having a look and oh wow, it looks really organised. Or maybe you enjoy handing on to somebody else that can use it. Maybe you've got some raggedy towels from, from the bathroom this week that can go to an animal shelter. You know, whatever you are not using, maybe you can hand it on to somebody else. So anyway, I'm going to get on and do a wee bit more unpacking. And all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish hygge swapping be with you. And I shall see you on the other side with a ra, ra, ra. Okay, bye for now.